Hi, my name is Steve Horvath. I'm a professor at UCLA. I would like to talk to you today about a paper that we recently published in the journal Aging. This is a paper that describes DNA methylation-based measures of biological age and a meta-analysis for predicting time to death. This was a very large-scale study that involved um, a dozen different institutions and many collaborators, Brian Chen, Ricardo Marioni, Luigi Ferrucci from NIA, Jim Panko, Ian Deary, Annette Peters, Andrea Beccarelli, Dan Levy, and many others. In this paper, we analyzed blood samples from almost 13,000 different people. Typically, these blood samples had been collected in the 1990s. And so we had about 15 or 20 years of follow-up data to determine who had died, how long these people lived, and so on. And we used DNA methylation data to estimate the age of the blood samples and then contrasted that estimated epigenetic age or methylation age with the chronological age at the time of the blood draw. And towards that end, we used a very powerful marker of biological age, which is known as the epigenetic clock. So about three years ago, in 2013, these methylation-based biomarkers were developed to really assess the chronologic age of a tissue. But the most important question was really whether the age estimate carries biologically useful information. And one way to answer that question is to determine whether these epigenetic age estimates are predictive of lifespan or mortality. And so in this paper, we evaluated whether these biomarkers predict all-cause mortality or more precisely time to death from the time of the blood draw in the 1990s to the age of death of the person. And the exciting finding was that yes, all epigenetic biomarkers that we considered in these studies predicted lifespan and death. And so there can no longer be any doubt that the epigenetic clock and similar biomarkers of aging capture biologically interesting information. They must relate to a root cause of aging. The most important question in certain ways is whether these epigenetic biomarkers are what is known as active biomarkers of aging or just passive biomarkers. What I mean by that is that some biomarkers relate to a root cause of aging, but they may not be part of the mechanism that actually triggers mortality. In this case, we would call them only passive biomarkers. In the future, we want to then test whether these biomarkers could play an active role. You know, At this point, we don't know yet. The other thing I want to mention is that our study only applied to DNA extracted from blood. However, the epigenetic clock really applies to every cell type and tissue. So uh, it would be very interesting to see whether the epigenetic age of other tissues will also be predictive of mortality. Thank you for your interest. If you want to learn more, you can find additional material, for example, on the Wikipedia page for the epigenetic clock um, or just by doing a Google search. Thank you for your interest. Thank you.